Good morning. My name is Sam Nealon, and again, I just rolled out of bed. So, no hair, no makeup, no getting fancy. And today, I'm getting crazy. This is my third time juicing with my Breville juicer. Can't remember what it's called. Die cast something. And um, the last two days, I did the Mean Green off of Joe Cross's Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead reboot recipe. Today, I just thought I would try my own and see what happens. So I'm gonna try to reincorporate some tips that I gave you yesterday, starting with, might wanna wear an apron if you're new to the gig. This is the juicer, and you might remember yesterday, or if you didn't see the video, go back to, I think, video three. This is video four, where I demonstrated low to high, etc. I placed my foods in the order that I'm gonna juice them, and there's a few things that I don't know, so we're gonna try them out. If you know, let me know. Um, I'm gonna, today, I'm, again, I made this up. I just pulled stuff out of my fridge because I think things are gonna start to go bad if I don't use them. So I have a cucumber, uh, a lemon. I happened to cut this one up because yesterday it just seemed to take a little bit longer in here, so I wanted to make it a little smaller. Chard, never even had it before. Carrots, I'm hoping that that's gonna be a good sweetener. Ginger root, I'm throwing that in there because it's in almost every recipe, but I don't know how it's gonna taste two or three celery stalks. I cut them up so that I could store them in the fridge, but you wouldn't need to cut them otherwise. And then three handfuls of spinach. Now, if you're new to me, well, I'm new to me in the juicing arena, I just started. One thing I wanna reiterate is that I don't like vegetables at all. I don't like to eat them. I don't wanna prepare them. I don't like the taste of them in my mouth. And the last two days doing the green mean, it's been awesome, I've loved it and it's been two meals for me for the day and more nutrients than I've probably gotten in like, I don't know, a year, <laughs> I'm guessing. So again, I don't really like anything that I'm juicing today if I had to eat it with my teeth, but drinking it, totally don't care. So I'm just gonna get started and I think in this video too, I'm gonna dismantle it when it's done and show you how that works. So. I'm not really sure about the leafy greens if they're supposed to be on high and low and I honestly was just too tired last night to research it, but I'm just going to juice in this order. What I do know about leafy greens and juicing is that you're supposed to put the leafy greens with something else and something like these handfuls of spinach to ball them up so that they, which I think I'm going to do those on low, it just kind of makes sense. If I'm wrong, let me know because <laughs> what do I know? All I know is that I'm getting way more nutrients because of drinking all these vegetables than ever before, and that's really what I'm shooting for. I'm not a health nut. I'm not, um, I don't get a lot of the stuff. I don't get slow food. I don't get raw food. I don't get vegetarianism. I mean, I kind of understand the concepts, but you know, I just want to be healthier. That's really what I'm shooting for, and this is the way to do it. So you start, you turn it on low. You always start low. That's what I've learned so far. It'll be a little bit louder. And here we go. The juice will come out in here. The pulp will come out in here. Yesterday I had a lot of trouble remembering that this is called pulp. I was tired. And when you push the food down with the pusher, make sure to do it slowly. That way you get more juice, or what they call yield. Here we go. already. It smells good. And I'm kind of dragging today. I woke up just feeling slow. This is charred. I have no idea what this is going to taste like, but I just balled it all up. And I'm going to throw a carrot in there for good measure. So, how are you? What's new? This is the first time I've juiced the carrot. It sounds like you're breaking the machine, but I don't think you are. Well, I am. You're not. Okay, balls of spinach. Gosh, I don't like spinach. Let's see, Let's see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. The truth is, I just have to get on board. 
I'm looking in the pulp to see if whole leaves are going in or just remnants because you really want more juice in here than more pulp in here. Okay, spinach leaves everywhere. Yeah, party. And ginger root is supposed to be on high, so I'm gonna wait on that. And are carrots supposed to be on high? They sure are. Okay, so I jacked that up. Okay, I'm gonna switch it to high. this morning I forgot to get all my tools organized here so this definitely did not yield as much juice as yesterday's the mean green um, if you were here for that the mean green yielded probably 36 ounces this is a 34 ounce container whoa sorry and um, so yesterday's mean green was probably up to about here so this looks like it'll only be one meal for me which that's fine whatever I'm gonna stir it and I'm kind of nervous actually because I made this drink up myself. So I'm trying not to psych myself out like, oh, it's gonna taste like vegetables and I'm gonna be bummed. I'm committed to drinking it no matter what. But, you know. So I'm gonna try and get it close to the camera. It's a lot more pea green than, <laughs> than the mean green. So let's see how it tastes. And what. All right, all right we'll just, we're just gonna do it. Okay, ready? Oh, that's not bad, and it's not as good as the mean green. It's not as like um, a delicious, <laughs> what? That's probably because there's no apple in it. It's not quite as sweet, but the ginger and lemon certainly take away freaky vegetable flavors. So that's not bad, and I'm guessing, well, I'm guessing the carrots sweetened it a little too, but I'm guessing that's a whole lot of nutrients. I have no way of gauging how much, but again, I, I'm glad. I, juicing is, I say this at the end of every video, I think because I'm new to it, but really, juicing I can see being a very, very easy way of life, and I'm down with it. All right, so let me show you real fast. Uh, excuse me, how to dismantle this. The truth is you can go on breville.com and for every juicer, they have videos like how to unpack it from, you know, when it's new and then how to disassemble it and wash it. I'm gonna disassemble it here for you. I'm not gonna wash it because it, how my kitchen is configured, it's too hard to film in there. But this safety latch right here, when it's up, the machine will work. When it's down, the machine won't work. So that's the first thing that you wanna do. Well, take the pusher out. Everything's super easy to clean. Pull the safety arm down. You take the top off. What I like to do, I don't know if you can see it. See there's pulp right here. I just use my hand because who cares and put it all into the little pulp dispenser. I kind of like to look at it too and make sure that, I don't know, I'm just getting a sense. There's a huge sharp blade in the chute, the bottom of the chute, so be really careful with that. Don't put your finger in there like I just did. Um, because that would be probably unsafe. So I'm gonna rinse that later. Okay, then I take the pulp bucket off. You might wanna remember to always use that plastic bag that has been recommended by me and a lot of other people because when you go to clean that out, all you do is pull the bag out. Actually, I'll just show you like that. And then I just tie it. Sometimes I look at it, and by sometimes I mean this is only my third time. <laughs> But it is, you seems easy, that's all I'm telling you. Put it in there, this is completely clean, so one less step. Then this guy, the blade is inside of it, and on this particular model, if you, I don't know if you can see it yet, if you just move the spout, this whole thing comes up, and it becomes two parts. 
this, I don't know what they call it, and then this is where the blade is. And there are specific cleaning instructions for the blade. This is super sharp right here, don't touch it. No matter what you do, don't touch it. There's a brush that comes with the uh, juicer. What I do is I rinse this out, but because this fine mesh captures a lot of the pulp, um, I soak it as it recommends. Breville recommends that you soak it in warm um, soapy water. And I do that and then I take the brush and I do exactly what those instructions say, which are to brush from, from the blade out. So, and then once I do that, I hold it up to the light and make sure I can see all the way through the mesh to make sure that I've cleaned it properly because I want, I want the most for the least amount of effort. So every time I juice, I want the most coming through this filter. And that's because I'm lazy. So I think that's pretty much what I have for you today. Sorry, I'm kind of low energy. I'm hoping after I drink this though, I'll be nothing but tigger bouncing off the walls. All right, so juice on.